What is up YouTube? Today we have a pretty special video. I am actually reviewing the newest units hot off the press from KeepKey. So I know you guys really like my hardware wallet videos and I'm going to show you how to set that up, give you my thoughts on it, and tell you the cool stuff that it can do. But first, I feel really naked without my hat, so I'm gonna put one on. Guys, we'll get back to the video in just one second, but I just wanted to say if you wanna build your knowledge, boost your cryptocurrency gains, and join the movement, please smash that subscribe button and hit the bell notification so you don't miss any of my future content. Now, back to the video. So guys, the folks over at KeepKey were kind enough to send me a review unit so that I could show you guys what the KeepKey can do. This hardware wallet, man, it is a pretty looking device and the packaging is actually pretty fantastic. I'll show you a quick little video I took on my Instagram when I got the box in the mail. Now I've had the chance to play around with it and set it up and I recorded a video of me setting up the device in real time so it shows you how easy it is to set this thing up. But first, let's go through a quick review of some of the key features and things that I thought when I first opened the device and got to play with it. Now first and foremost, let's talk about the design. By far, in my opinion, this hardware wallet is the nicest looking hardware wallet there is and in my opinion, it has the nicest interface and simplest interface out of any hardware wallet, but it doesn't sacrifice on security. Now, you probably are thinking, well, why do you need a super fancy looking hardware wallet? You don't really carry it around. That is true, but you know what? I think it's good to have a sexy device. That's just my opinion. I might carry this thing around on a lanyard, guys, because it really looks dope. I mean, it's a pretty slick device. I would say from the design perspective, this is the, uh, the Apple Award for uh, hardware wallets, this is the best design hardware wallet you can get. I mean, this thing even comes with a braided USB cable. I mean, it's the, the attention to detail is great. This thing looks pretty nice. I mean, look at Catch the Light like that. Yeah, that's, it's pretty sweet. And it's got a nice little touch screen on the front too. So for those of you who want a good looking device, check KeepKey is in business. I'm sure what you guys are wondering the most about is how many cryptocurrencies does the KeepKey device support? Right now, it actually supports seven different cryptocurrencies. And I know that's not a lot, but I think most devices these days are starting to add altcoin support. And KeepKey is also doing the same thing. They have announced plans to introduce ERC-20 tokens. And if you don't know what an ERC-20 token is, check out my video and I'll link it above about what those are. But they're looking to introduce a bunch of new cryptocurrency tokens this year. So I still think that they're gonna get this sorted out this year. Now I'll show you a quick list uh, from the actual app of what cryptocurrencies they currently support. So obviously not ideal. Everyone would wish there's more cryptocurrency support, but for my purposes at least, this is all I really want to put on here at the moment because I have a couple of other hardware wallets that I use for other coins and obviously have desktop wallets as well. Now in terms of security, I first and foremost want to mention that they've taken special care in making sure that your 12 word seed phrase is accurately displayed on the device rather than on your computer. And why this is important is it prevents man in the middle attacks where a hacker or someone who is trying to steal your cryptocurrency can manipulate what you see on your computer screen and trick you into thinking that you have the right thing when in reality they've taken control. Now, that's the reason why hardware wallets nowadays have screens. That's because it allows you to check what's happening on the device, not just on your computer, because this is much harder to take control of than a computer is. So that's exactly what KeepKey has done. They've given you a nice big display that you can even see the QR code when you're transferring Bitcoins or Ethereum or whatever. That's an awesome feature. I love to be able to see the address, to see the QR code on the screen. Let me show you a quick video of that. And it's, it's really cool. It allows you to really feel secure in the fact that you're sending cryptocurrency where you want. And when you're first setting up your device that you can verify that seed phrase directly on the device's screen all at once, rather than on the ledger or the treasure having to click through with the buttons. It's actually kind of a pain. It's a small thing, but that's one user experience thing I really like about the Keep Key. And another security measure that they've implemented, obviously, is making you physically confirm on your device with this button up top when you are transferring cryptocurrencies. You have to hold it down, I think, for you know a second and a half, two seconds, but it makes you really look at what's going on on your screen. 
You should always be doing that. That's a best practice. Whenever you're sending cryptocurrency, make sure that your device says the same address that you're supposed to send to, that you're trying to send to, so that you can make sure you haven't been affected by a man in the middle attack where someone takes over your computer and on the sly inputs their address or another address and sends cryptocurrency there instead. Now, KeepKey has utilized this beautiful screen on the device for a lot of different things for security. And one of the things they've done, and I'll show you when we set up the device, but they've displayed your pin numbers. So the pin pad appears on the device and on your computer screen, all you get is that same pattern with empty boxes. And what that does is, is it prevents a hacker from taking control of your computer and seeing what pin you're entering. They could just see the pattern that you're clicking on your computer screen because all the numbers are scrambled on your device's screen. That's a really good security feature that I don't think many hardware wallets had before now. Now you see Ledge, the Ledger Nano S doing that same thing and I know the Trezor has something similar, but I really like that feature. Obviously, when you're setting up your device, it's super, super important that this process is easy. And I must say KeepKey has nailed it on that front as well. The process is super simple. Obviously, I've done this before. I've done setup for Trezor. I've done setup for Ledger Nano S. I've done setup for the really old hardware wallets back in the day that didn't really have anything. And so I know what I'm doing, but I still think that someone who's not used to doing this would still have an easy time of it. So let me go through the process with you here right now. So let's switch over to the computer view. Let's go. You're gonna go over to your computer and you're gonna go over to the website that's written on the inside of the box. So I'm gonna show you that right now. It is www.keepkey.com slash get dash started. Now, when you get there, it's gonna give you in-depth instructions on what you're supposed to do and it's super simple. We're gonna run through it now in about a minute. So all you have to do first is install the Chrome plugin for your KeepKey device. That's going to be the app that you use to do everything on your device. Now, most devices are going to ask you to update the firmware when you first get it out of the box and plug it in to, and get it connected to your computer. So to do that, it's really simple. It's going to basically ask you to confirm with the button on top, you hold that down, confirm that you wanna update your device, let the device do its thing, and it will update and tell you it needs you to unplug it and replug it to go ahead and get started from there. Now, once you've done that, it's going to ask you to create a new wallet or restore a wallet. And if you wanted to restore a wallet that you already have, you have a 12 word seed phrase from an old device, what have you, you can do that here, but we're gonna select choose a new device, create a new wallet. Now, when you set this up, it's going to have you set up a pin. And one of the great security features that they've added into this device is they've scrambled the different numbers on the number pad so that when you enter it on the computer screen, you have to look at the device itself with the scrambled numbers. And I'll show that to you now so that you can make sure you have the extra layer of security on that device. Because obviously it's harder for a hacker to take over this device than it is your computer. So make sure you select a strong pin. I recommend four to six characters. I'm pretty sure four is the minimum anyway. Once you've done that, you're going to see on the screen, it's gonna give you your 12 word seed phrase. And if you don't know what a seed phrase is, I have a brand new video that is coming out on Saturday, all about seed phrases. So definitely stay tuned for that. Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss it. Once you've written down that seed phrase, because this is the key to the castle. Once you have that seed phrase, you need to make sure you don't lose it. You need to make sure it doesn't get destroyed. You need to make sure you don't show it to anyone. Because if anyone gets a hold of that seed phrase, those 12 words in order, they can get access to your cryptocurrencies and they can steal them. So make sure you keep that safe, write it down on the card they provide and put it away in a safe or somewhere that is as safe as a safe. Now, once you've done that, your device is pretty much ready to go. All you have to do is create whatever wallets you want and use this device like any other hardware wallet. Now, in future videos, I'm gonna do a little series on the Keep Key wallet now that I have it to play with it and I'm going to definitely, definitely do a tutorial on how to link your keep key device to the electronium wallet and also to link it up to shapeshift and how to use that shapeshift integration because obviously the shapeshift 
the company that transfers cryptocurrencies into other cryptocurrencies and exchanges them, thus shape-shifting them, they own KeepKey now. So I'm gonna show you how to use that integration to your advantage and why I really like it. And then also in a future video, let me know if you guys would be curious to see if I do a little tips and tricks video and show you how to do some cool stuff with this that you never thought you could do. So let me know if you wanna do that in the comments below. Now, guys, I do recommend that you pick one of these up if you're looking for a hardware wallet. It's a reasonable price. It's about the same price as the Trezor wallet. I know the Trezor has more support for more coins and if that's what you prefer and you need support for more coins right now, obviously the Trezor or even the Ledger Nano S are probably your best bet. The Trezor is about the same price. The Ledger Nano S is a fair bit more expensive. But I really do think this is a great device. I've gotten to play with it a good amount and I'm really happy with it. So I definitely would rate this four out of five stars. If they had more cryptocurrency coins on it right now, I would mean I would have no problem giving this five out of five. But until then, I'm gonna go four out of five. Great design, good security, easy to use. I really do like it. Thank you guys very much for watching. And if you guys wanna watch some more of my content, which I really hope you do, please check out these two videos here. I've got a playlist and another video that I think you will really like. Thank you guys very much. Cheers.